Hi, folks. Andrew here at Top Fitness Strategies, as you can see right across the top there, topfitnessstrategies.com. Okay, if you're here for the first time, do me a quick favor. Hit the subscribe and the bell for notifications. That way you'll know what's going on because we've got a lot of stuff happening. Uh, we are Top Fitness Strategies, and I would love for you to be part of it. All right, today what we're going to talk about, love handles. Ooh, 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 how to get rid of love handles. Matter of fact, there's two simple steps. You're going to uh, get rid of them, uh, at least reduce them. All right, and you'll understand as we go through this what I'm talking about. Love handles. Right away, people are saying, okay, if I do a bunch of crunches and do, do a bunch of sit-ups, uh, they're going to go away. No, it don't work that way, folks. What sit-ups and crunches do, and there's different philosophies out there, whether they're good for you or bad for you. I'm not going to get into that right now. What I'm going to tell you is if you are working your stomach muscles, you will get stronger stomach muscles, period. Will they... Uh, reduce the fat around the stomach muscles? No, they will not reduce the fat there. Fat, that's a whole, how your body reduces fat is a whole different ball game. You can't do one exercise and spot reduce the fat. Okay, but what you can do is eliminate overall fat. And part of that fat is the love handle. So to get smaller love handles or to reduce the size of your love handles, there are two basic things you have to do. Two. Now, I'm doing broad strokes here, folks. I'm, I'm painting everything in a broad stroke. So two basic things. And when I say that, you're going to say, duh, but think deeper into it. Okay, thing number one, you have to eat properly. Duh. All right, and by, by, by eating properly, most people don't understand that. If you get a salad at a fast food joint, that is not eating properly. But, Andrew, it's a salad. Fine. All right. You can debate me all you want. My rule of thumb is fast food, bad. Across the board, bad. Because you're what? You're going to get a Diet Coke. You're not going to go to a fast food and get a salad and a glass of water. You're just not. I, I, would, I would love to talk to people that do that because I bet you there's very, 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 very small percentage of people that actually do that. You're going to get a diet soda or something. Bad, bad, bad. So anything at fat, fast food is bad. Anything at uh, outside of uh, a black cup of coffee in the morning, bad. I don't care if you add sugar to it. Uh, if you start using cream, whipped cream, mocha, mocha, loca, chuka, waka, bukas, whatever they are at those places, bad for you. All right. When I say bad, I'm not saying it's going to kill you. I'm just saying in terms of love handles and spot reduced fat, or I shouldn't say spot, not spot reduced, love handles and reduced fat, it's not good for you. All right. So. Two things you got to do, or with, with the, of the two things, we're talking about one, clean clean up your eating habits. Cut out sugar, cut out salt. Now, when I say cut out, that is drastic to go from sugar up here, all of a sudden, boom, sugar down here, you're not going to have any. Your body's going to say, whoa, what the, what the heck? Now, if you want to be a psycho, go for it, and uh, you're going to see major, major, major changes in your body right away the first couple of days is maybe not the best but it's going to be changes but okay cut out uh sh cut out reduce or cut out sugar i say reduce or cut out reduce or cut out salt if you're the type of person that reaches for the salt shaker before they taste the food that's in front of them bad 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 all right don't be bitching to me about your, your love handles being you still have them not good for you all right, so reduce or cut out sugar. Reduce or cut out salt. Drink more water. Replace one of the sodas with a cup of water. Replace one of the cup of coffees with some water. Just drink more water. Your body's going to be happy you did so. You're going to start reducing body fat everywhere. It's just part of it. Number two, another duh. Move your body. Duh. All right, folks, the human body is designed to run, jump, bend, push, pull, stretch is designed to do all that stuff. So how much of that stuff do you actually do? If you sit on the couch all day, watch television, you're not doing any of it. If you sit on uh, in a chair in an office all day, you're not doing any of it. Your body is going to adapt to what you do to it or what you do with it. So for instance, if you sit in an office chair, like I'm sitting right now, if you're sitting in an office chair all day long, your body is going to adapt to that and start putting more padding where it needs to, which is the rump. You're going to get a bigger rump. Your body just does that. If you lay on the couch all day, what's it going to do? It's going to put padding where it's laying down all day, which is, well, think about it. You know where it is. 
So your body's going to adapt to what you put it through. It's just that simple. Now, use your body for what it's designed to do. Bend, run, stretch, push, pull. Your body's designed to move, so do movements with it. I'm not saying go to the gym and do a full body workout every day. If you can, great, fantastic. If you can't, which most people are not in position to do that, go for a walk, a mile, two miles, up and down the stairs. If you can't go out walking for a mile or two, get on a bicycle and do something. But move your body because then your body's going to say, hey, wait a second, I've been sitting on the chair all day at the, at the office, so I'm putting all the extra padding on my rump, but now you're wanting me to do this walking thing. Well, i got to start adapting and maybe – Start putting a little more muscle work than where it needs to, which is in the legs. And I'm going to take what was good and put it in the rump area. I'm going to move it to the legs. Or if you start doing like push ups every day, just it's, it, that's just a, a, an example I'm throwing out there. Your body's going to say, Hey, wait a second, you got more stuff going on up top. I might have to move some of the stuff I put in the bum and come up top a little bit. All right. And at the same token, since you're going to be doing that, you're going to be moving more, you're going to be burning more calories. Therefore, you're going to be burning the fat away from the love handles, and you're going to reduce the love handles. So there you go. I, I know I'm painting everything with real broad strokes, and people are saying, duh, but hey, think about it. Eat better and move your body. Those are the two main things. You start doing that on a consistent basis, the, word, the key is consistent, you're going to see results. And within a month of doing this consistently, other people are going to start noticing as well. Once that happens, man, the sky's the limit. You're going to start feeling better about yourself, and you're going to take off. But the hard part is getting started, doing it. Cut back the sugar. Cut back the salt. Is it going to be hell the first couple of days? Absolutely it is. Got to get through it. It's part of it. But if you don't want to get through it, hey, keep the love handles on. It doesn't, doesn't bother me none. I'm just telling you what to do. How you approach it from here on out is totally up to you. I'll be more than happy to help you. That's what I do at Top Fitness Strategies. That's what I do. There's all kinds of other trainers out there that do it as well. Some of them I, I've talked to. Some of them I, I'm, I'm working with. Let me know. Okay, so we'll stop it there. Hey, thanks for being here. Again, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you get a ding once I get something new up there. So I'll stop it here. But once again, Top Fitness Strategies, I have links below. Click on them. Go there. I have stuff for you there as well. Uh, I think there's a free something, something down there for you. So, and I'll let you find it. Okay. So there you go. Uh, this is Andrew, Top Fitness Strategies. Until next time. Ciao.